All right, YouTube. Uh, hope you, ladies and gentlemen, are having a great day. It's Thursday is almost Friday, so the weekend is almost here, and the weather's starting to change. So I know you guys are liking the weather in Dallas. So I want to talk a bit, talk a little bit about what I did today before I start the video. So I went out today about 6:45, um, and I fished about 7:30, and I did some bass fishing. Right. So I'm gonna show you guys what I went out with. So I started off casting, and, I, and it's not going to be in the video, but I think I only fished for about 15 minutes with this, uh, the worm set up. Texas rig, all right? Um, you guys seen this rod before. This is my angler bait caster, angler, uh, angler bait caster reel, angler rod. This is a combo, right? My son bought this for me. So I didn't get any bite. I was fishing the canal system, the end of it, and it was only probably about two feet deep all the way down, but right at the end, it was about five feet deep, four or five feet. I think it was a drain hole. I couldn't tell because it was pretty covered with trash, but I think that's a drain hole. So then I started casting. I seen the fish jumping, right? The bass were jumping. I started seeing little minnows and things like that. They were chasing. So I started fishing with this right here. 116 ounce jig head. This is a paddle tail. And you guys see my little my little setup, uh, that little thing I bought, the lures I bought with the different colors. But I was fishing with that color. It looked kind of like a minnow, right? Kind of like a gut, a gut minnow you buy. Um, I was fishing with, I don't want that go fine anymore. So I was fishing with my Shakespeare Micro Series Ultralight Reel, seven foot. Yeah, seven foot. And I was fishing, I bought these, this reel, um, this pad a couple of days ago. This is a SY3000 Quanha reel that I got off of Amazon. Um, I think it was like, it was under $20. It's real, it's real heavy. I'm not hit super heavy, but it's, it's well put together compared to those Walmart reels. And it handled those bass I caught today pretty good. So I went out and I fished for bass. I caught a five five bass limit. I actually kept all five of them. So meat is getting really expensive in the grocery stores. You guys know that everything is expensive. So I normally don't keep bass and I probably won't keep them often, but every once in a while, I'll probably keep me a five bass limit. And um, I start Googling, start reaching out to some of you guys, asking questions about, hey, what can I do to make a bass taste good? What kind of recipes y'all have y'all wanna share with me? Um, I don't really eat bass, but I'm gonna start. And same thing with the catfish. You guys see me throw those catfish away. I probably start keeping some of those as well, uh, stocking my freezer with uh, with fish. So let me show you guys what I caught, and then we're gonna get this video going. All right, guys. So I'm just gonna dig in here and get them out, put them in the sink for you, so you see, and then I'm gonna clean them up later. So. There's one. Two. That's a good one right there. Three. They all pretty good. Three. Four. That's a big one too. Four. Five. So I caught five bass in a probably, I don't know, 45 minutes. So not bad at all, guys. So let me get this video going. I hope you guys are having a great Thursday. I caught five nice bass, as you can see. That's a lot of meat. So I'm going to need you guys to start sharing recipes with me. There's the boss. And that's Miss Angela. So that's the boss. So, I know, right? It's protein, baby. Grocers. So, um, we're going to need you guys to share recipes with us how to make how to make bass taste good. I'm the cleaner. I clean the fish. She used to cook. I can cook fish too, though, but she can throw it down. She used to cook for the other half. So, you guys share with my wife what um, kind of recipes we can do for bass and catfish. Because we crop this here, baby. Mm hmm All day. Crop it, huh? <laughs> How you think going good? Good. So, yeah. Like so, he, he look like he wants. Yep. Yeah, that's a big one right here, ain't it? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. And we caught it on her reel. So let me get this kitchen together. Um, and we're going to. Here's Lucy. So these are my girls, you guys. So Lucy and Iggy. And she needed her cut. This is the wild one. So Iggy and Lucy. <laughs> And um, that's it, man. That's all I do is take care of my family, work, and uh, try to live right, you know, try to stay blessed. So my twins here, these are my little nieces, and they're here acting a fool. Got it going on right everywhere, boy. The dog loving that. Yeah, you know that. Yeah, yeah, they loving that. All right, guys, so enough of the family stuff. Uh been six minutes you guys probably like hey let's get the video going so we're about to get started you guys have a blessed day stay safe stay uh stay motivated stay being successful stay whatever you're doing in life keep doing it and um we got a nice video coming this weekend i'm probably gonna do some gill videos big gills and um you know you gotta keep 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 commenting keep sharing if you're sure and keep liking and keep following i hope this page grows and get bigger um it's only been about a year and a half so i hope we get bigger and um i hope i keep great bringing great content to you guys so video about starting one two three all right guys i'm out fishing and i'm having a problem with my gopro i don't think i'm gonna buy no more gopros i'm gonna stick with my cell phone but i got a decent bass here probably about a three pound three and a half pound bass bam nice bass you guys real nice healthy bass and I got them right here on the end, end of this canal, right in front of that grass. Big old bass. Uh, man, my GoPros, I got a GoPro 8. I don't know what's going on about this for my wife, but this thing cuts off all the time, get hot, and then it's, I don't know. So I'm getting tired of the GoPro, but I'm going to stick with my phone. My phone makes great videos. I'm going to stick with it. And like I said, you can see that pretty bass there healthy i would say three pounds i'm gonna throw them back throw them back in well i don't know what i'm gonna keep this joke guys food is getting hard this bass going home with me that bass going home with me all right let me show you what i got it on so i got it on this pedal flap, pedal, pedal flap, I think that's what they call it. Pedal tail. Look like a minnow. 116 ounce jig head. Shakespeare Micro Series Ultralight Rod and a S3000 Quanha. Probably pronouncing that wrong. Um, reel. I just bought this right here. So this is actually my wife's reel. I bought this for her. And uh, I'm just throwing it in front of this junk. And seeing if anything will hit it. So I'm thinking them bass are just back there at the end back there. Relaxing. Up under all that stuff, man. And if you, and you get them out of there. If you can get them out of there. You got them. I had to lay down and get that joker. I'm about to bring my rod. And, uh, bring my, my uh, net next time. Now we're feeling taps in there. I think they were gill, but I think he just happened to be back there too and came on out and hit it. Thought it was a catfish at first, because he would not come up. Do I got another? Oh, I thought I had another one. Grass. Grass, you guys. Big bass been jumping back here all day. They've been jumping back here all day long. That was pretty to see that thing swimming. 
They got that thin line, you just gotta just let, just let, them, let them work. See, I got a tap just then. But it was probably a gill. Oh, Lord. Have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let it get down. Barely, barely, really, you guys. I'm gonna go back there and throw in that open water in a minute. There we go, right in front. Let it sit, and then just slowly reel it back. See, I'm filling them taps. See that? See that line bounce? Those could be big, big bluegill. Cause see, this thing is pretty big, so. Them gills may not be able to get that in their mouth, but them could be some decent sized bluegills. That's that's hitting this. See, that's pretty that's pretty big. Like a three inch lure. So you had a uh you had a uh some red worms, you'll know what they are. There we go. That's a good throw. Let it drop just a little bit. And then slowly reel it back. Oh, I got hung up on something. Something good, too. Oh, I got it loose. Got it loose. I got it loose. I'm gonna act though right across this stuff. Like this right here, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna throw. There we go. And come right down it. You see if anything will take it. Well, I got a tap just in. That was a bluegill. That was for sure. You see how that line just bouncing? Yep, no bluegill. That's a bad shit at one day. Oh, God, dog. No. I just took that. I had a hit just then. Man, over there in that grass, I felt when he had it. Them bluegills. You see that? You see that? Boy, they just popping that joke. I might come back here with some, some uh, worms one day, just to see. See that, man? I don't know what those are. That might need to... I need to break this or something. I'm gonna go back. 
back to uh, casting down where I put my fish at. Oh, I see it, yeah. So let me go back to casting down by the land. There we go. One, two, three. There we go. There we go, you guys. Got another bass, probably. Yep. I love this little area back here already. I already like this area. Boat flip them, E. Bass number two for me to go home. Bass number two, baby. There you go. I get a five limit bass, so. Bass number two, you guys. Bass number two. Yeah, baby. Yeah. There we go. I got two of them right there. Yes, indeed. You guys can see. Got a big one. Got a big one. I'm getting right in front of this. This 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 litter. This trash right there. Right in front of that trash, you guys. That's what I'm getting them. It's about seven o'clock. And we're gonna keep going. Oh, I got in there then. Oh, there we go. That one tapped it like a like a uh, that one right there actually tapped it like a uh, like a bluegill. Cause I thought I had a gill. Okay, let it drop down. There we go. There we go. Look. Ooh, he got off. God, dog. He got off. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. He had it. He hit it on the drop. Mm, mm, mm. I didn't set the hook. I saw the line, too, kind of looking kind of strange. There we go. He'll come back out. He didn't feel the hook. Didn't feel the hook at all. There we go. Got another one, you guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, Goat James on him. Boat flip him, E. Boat flip him. Oh, Goat James on him. There you go, you guys. Bass number three. I get a five-man limit, so... There you go. I'm enjoying myself. Number three, you guys. Number three. There we go. So I got three. And we're going to get right back at it. Two more to go for a one-man limit. This afternoon, this Thursday afternoon. Cold front in Dallas, Texas, you guys, and we're just out having a good time. I'm getting them, like I said, it's probably about two feet deep back here. Not deep at all. And I'm just getting them right in front of this trash. Just letting it fall down. And as it falls, they're actually kind of hitting it or, when I, or right when I start reeling it. I need to go and get my uh, I need to go and get my cooler down there, my other rod. So I was fishing with that worm, and I wasn't getting no bite at all. Soon I there we go. Ooh, he hit that. There we go. Oh, that's a bluegill. Soon, bang. But as soon as I start fishing with this uh, this this mental presentation, uh, he got serious. That was a bluegill right there. So I'm gonna break this in two. I'm gonna break it down a little bit. There we go. Break that presentation down just a little bit. And maybe I can get maybe I could hang one of those bluegills that's tapping it. And it might be a hand size. Man size, pan size, you know. You never know. Look at that. They jumping right in front of me. They jumping right in front of me, teasing me right now.
Okay, so now look. Now we just made that to like maybe a, an inch and a half presentation. Let that drop down. Let it get down a little bit. The bass is still hit it. But with the bluegills hit it. That's the thing. Let it drop. There we go. Now slowly, slowly, really back. There we go. You see that? Another bad. And this is a good one. This is a decent one. I'm just trying to show you guys another technique of you ain't gotta always have those big bass lures, you know. You can uh, you can get them on uh, boat flip them e. You can get them on those small presentations right now too, you guys. That's bass number four. Bass number four. My cooler's right down there, so I'm gonna go and get my cooler right quick. There you go. There you go. All right, bass number four. I got one more for a one man limit. You guys hanging up with me, Kay? One more. Hey guys, we're gonna see if we're gonna get us a one man limit on bass, on largemouth bass. Right after, let it drop. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let me just start reeling back. Let's see if anything can hit. They coming out of the, off and up on that trash. I know that for sure. That's exactly where they're coming from. That could also be a drain hole right there. You know, normally at the end, it's a drain hole. So it could be a drain hole right in that middle part. And they're coming out of there, too. That could for sure be one of the, the reasons why I'm catching them. Now that I got four, I guarantee this last one will take everything I got in me to get a bite. Now that I got, <laughs> that's the way it goes. Now that I got four, all right. One, two. Oh, y'all trying to get back in the water. Uh, way down here one man. No, no, that ain't gonna work, buddy. Y'all can get back up there. This this grocery is right here. Food expensive. There you go. There you go. And there you go. Right there. Stay right there where you at. Food is expensive right now, you, you guys, so I gotta keep these bass. My five man, I probably won't keep them all the time, but I'm gonna start keeping some. Learn how to make them juggle taste good. Like everybody tell me, they eat bass. There we go, ooh, that was my fifth one, you guys. That would have been my fifth one. God, dog. Oh, that might have been a gill. I don't know. I'm not sure. But that could have been my fifth bass. All right. Unless it was a gill. This last one gonna be hard to catch. Watch, I put money on it. It's gonna be hard to catch. There we go. One, two, three, four. I had a hit just then.
Had a hit, but he didn't want it. He didn't want it. One more, you guys. Give me one more. Give me a five. Give me a five bass limit. If not, I take what I can get. Okay, I gotta get close to it. It's starting to get dark now. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Is it that deep back there? Jeez. Ooh, you saw that? You saw that? I want to hit it. Blue gear just tapping away. Blue gear just tapping away. Look at this. You see that? <laughs> Blue gear just tapping away. Man, many gonna be a bass though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On the bottom. Okay, so let me switch it up a little bit. Let me switch it up. So now let me, I'm gonna throw a cross again. I'm gonna throw across here again. There you go, let it drop. And then just slowly rid it back. Ooh, man, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah that little popping. That's for sure. Yeah, but they're not big. I've been on, got a big one. A big one, but I ate that. So that line pop, that's, that's that's what you see. That's the blue gear hitting you guys. When you see that line, just when you see that pole bounce like that, that is for sure a blue gear hitting. Okay, so now I'm gonna cast over this side. I'm gonna cast kind of over there like that. Just let it come down, let it drop. Get down the water column. There we go. Slowly bring it back. Yeah, I'm just to, that was probably a little bluegill. Okay, let me get back down here. I'm trying to get that last bass for you. I'm trying my best. Trying my best to get that last bass for you guys. Right, buddy. One, two, three, four. Okay. 
There we go. What is this? Oh, that's a crappie. A crappie. Okay. A crappie. Not a keeper, but that might have been. All right, let me go and get my bucket. I might, I might have found something out of you guys. Let me go and get my uh, cooler right here. Put my fish in. You guys, I might have found something out. So that might be a drain hole. And now I was hitting them bass right when it's getting dark because they hang around. And right when it started getting dark, what they're doing now, the crappies have come out. And I just caught a crappie. So that's probably a drain hole right there on the end. And I just found me a new honey hole, you guys. That's what it's all about. You got to get out and search, walk around and look, and you'll catch them. But you got to put that work in. So I'm going to get my bucket here. And my pole, because it's getting dark, and I want to leave this here. So I'm going to get my pole. I'm going to fish down here for about, for probably about 15, 20 more minutes, right before it get, before it get dark. I'm going to call it a night. But in here, it's only a couple feet. And I think back here, actually, I was counting about five feet. So they'll hang out right there. So, uh,. We're gonna see if we can get us a couple crappies real quick. I'm not gonna worry about that five minute, five limit bass. If I get it, that'd be cool though. But if not, I'm fine with that too. So, so uh, let me put my. So here we go, guys. Let's see here. So we got one. Got one, that's a good one. one. Two, this right here is a good one. Woo -hoo -hoo. Look how big that is, three, four. I don't want to leave it, I don't want to lose anything, so I'm going to put this off in there as well. Just because I don't want to leave that out there. And I'm going to sit my pole up like that. And I'm going to cast back out here and see if that was just an accident or is it some crappies in here now what i'm gonna do is take this little thing off it's all beat up and put me another another uh another presentation on here put the whole deal on there there we go all right so basically just like a minnow and this is live you guys i'm not gonna edit this at all so when i post this you get everything, you get everything. I'm not gonna take my time and edit. I'm gonna let you guys see live fishing, how long it took me to get it from the first fish to the uh, to the last fish. Okay, I'm just gonna let it drop. I cut that crappie up real close. And as it drop, I'm just gonna bring it back real slow. Real slow. Here we go, we had another bite. Oh, uh, you see that? Lord have mercy. I might have bring me some minnows back here. Okay, let it go and down there. Now. There we go. go if that is a drain hole gonna be right there in the middle of what I'm throwing but that doesn't mean that yeah you'll catch them in the middle you can catch them all over this place but ooh, dang I just had a bite I felt a tug so look at they jumping all around here
broadcast on the outside. There we go. Let me cast over there, come across. Let it get down there though. And then just slowly, slowly bring it back. And I mean slowly bring it back. Hey, it might be crap is hanging all back in this area. We don't know. No, we don't know people. I'm about to find us a new spot. I'm about to find us a new spot. You guys always see me fishing other spots most of the time, so I'm about to bring y'all something new. Get some minnows and come out here. Right about this time, let that joker sit and catch bass and crappies all day long. Nothing. Okay. Is it getting down there? One, two, three, four. I'm gonna throw by this land. This little, I'm gonna throw by this little island right here. See if anything hanging out by this island. Just never know. Hit like a uh, a spot that would be like a couple feet deep, and bam, be a fish hanging right in that little area. Like right there, like right there. There you go, bass number five. They're not a keeper, but bass number five, you guys. I got to be a five minute, five man limit, five bass limit. There you go, you guys. This is my bass number five, five bass limit, five bass limit. But little fella get to go back and grow. There you go. Let's cast out a little bit more. I think I probably got about another 15 minutes before it get dark, dark. So this time I I turned around and cast that way. Came down that little land and popped that joker. Ooh, boy, I, got, I just got another little tub. Okay. All right, y'all trying to act up, huh? I'm liking this little area. You see that pop? I'm liking this little area here. There we go, good cast. Just let it get down there. I'm gonna see you on the bottom. See, okay, it's on the bottom. It's actually about five feet deep, though. Five feet deep over there. And that's why them fish is in there. I counted just then. One, two, three, four. Five, six, yeah. I see them get I see them blue gear in um 
ain't tapping anymore. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that was a nice little pull there. I'm talking about a nice pull. And I think it was a crappie. I think that was a crappie. I think that was a crowd. Let's get a little bit closer here. There we go. Let's see if anything will come in. Okay, I want to get right. Hold on. I'll put my flash on. There we go. I'm about to go, but I want to get right across here. I'm just convinced now, when I seen that crappie, that it's more. I hear it, ain't the only one. Can't be the only one. Ooh, you saw that? Oh, yeah. Now, that was a little bluegill. That was a little bluegill for sure. That was a little bluegill for sure. I can't get one more crappie. I can't get one more crappie to go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, toss out. Just let it come back to me. They jumping over there. I'm finna go down there and cast too. I just heard something big jump, jump down here. By this, uh, right in front of this brush. Right in front of this little island. See if anything hanging out. They want, they want to taste. Uh, there we go. There we go. They're doing it, hanging around, tasting some little minnows and stuff. But back here. Man, you see that? You saw that big old fish jumped up over there. That big old bass jumped up. Jungle jumped up. Line should have just tightened up. 
Like, ooh, they hit it. But he didn't tighten it up. Cause it wasn't a bath, it was a bluegill. Yeah, pop, 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 pop. That's a bluegill right there when they do that. Time for me to get ready to go. It's getting dark and uh, I gotta work in the morning. So I was hoping to get like one more decent, decent bass to take home. I like these little paddle, paddle tail, the paddle, yeah, paddle tail. Yep, I'll be fishing with them now. There we go. This might be a. This is the bass on the five. There we go. There we go, you guys. You got me five bass to take home. There we go. You got me five little bass I could take to the house and have for uh, protein. Bam. Bam. Yes, indeed. There we go. Nice one. I want to get to go home to get to go home and meet the grease. All right, you guys. All right. Hope you guys are having a blessed day. All of this is live. Ain't no editing at all. So you guys see how hard I have to work for these uh these fish. It's not coming easy. Boy, they are hitting. They are pulling. All right, last cast. Last cast. Let it drop. Then we're gonna slowly, slowly reel it back. See if it's take a take. Maybe one more cast. There we go. There we go. Got another one. Got another one. Oh, not a grass. Okay. Dang, I, but I thought I had one last one. That's a good wow. Look at that big old fish out there jumping. You see that jump? <laughs> Boy, they back here working. These bass back here working, you guys. Making it hard for me to leave. Making it hard.
for me to leave. Something banging that joker just did, you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Man, something hit that joker. And you know when you get a hit, it makes you end up staying another five minutes. I caught most of my bass right here in front of me. Yep, I caught most of my bass in this corner. Yeah, right where I just threw. That's where I caught most of them. That's where I caught most of them. All right, this is, this is for show the last cast. Guys, let me, let me put this up. Let me head to my truck. I probably could have threw that worm out there if I was anything would hit it. But I'm good. Walk, watch where I'm walking. Then I got dark. I'm walking fast too, boy. So that's it. 